messing around, baby. Diminished scale. What's the deal with diminished scale? Diminished scale is just a symmetrical scale, eight note scale. It is built of alternating half steps and whole steps. So if you did it on one string, you know, if we did an E diminished scale, it would be an E, then the whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. And the, the basically, most of the time you're going to see two functions of that. Of course, there are many more. You can use it wherever you want. But over a diminished chord, a diminished seven chord, you're going to generally play the whole step, half step diminished scale. And over a dominant seven chord, you'll generally play the half step, whole step diminished scale. It's the same damn thing. It's just, you know, if it's easier for you to, uh, for example, if you sing E7 chord, you would play an E half step, whole step. Rather than learn two kind of scales because it's all the same, you could just go up a half step and play whole step, half step. So I'll just play F whole step, half step. same exact thing. Um, I'm trying to make some other functions for this. Um, and, and keep in mind that there are going to be four sort of, it, it repeats every minor third, right? So if you see like a, an E diminished chord, E diminished seven, it's going to be the same as a G, B flat, and uh, D flat. Is that correct? So you've got that group, and then you've got F, A flat, B, and D. And I never think about it this much. And then F sharp, A, C, and E flat. So you've got three groups of four, if that makes any sense. Um, and it's, you know, you can use it. I, I like to use it uh, sometimes. I don't use it very often, to be honest, but um, it works as like an alt over altered chords. use it in like funky things, like over blues, like if I'm playing in any, any dominant chord, you can throw it in there. Now if I were playing like something funky or whatever, I would use it sparingly, I would use it more to color, I wouldn't base my whole like vibe on that diminished scale, so if I'm doing like an A kind of... Mixolydian type stuff. sound and then bring it back in so like a simple way to do that you could you know a7 in this case you could uh, so you're gonna be using a half step whole step diminished and again that would be the same as it would be F sharp a C or E flat they're all the same all right so you could kind of uh, look at your, your chord tones right and look at the G so from the G I would have a whole step half step So actually, straight up from the G. Shredding, but you can use it for anything. 
in any genre. Um, if you have like, take three notes, like in this, in this case we're doing the A half step whole step. You can take any three notes that are in the scale and just repeat them in tritones. If we went down a whole step, it would, we would have the whole step half step shape. Alright, you get some cool, uh, you know. Oh my god, I haven't done that in ages. Man, that's tricky. Like, you can work on different patterns. I mean, it's easier just to. Stuff like that. But, um, and lastly, if you do it four note per string. Half step, whole step, half step, you can either do a f or you can slide. Then you can get like some pretty simple patterns like this. You know that last one had a very dominant sound to it, so give it a shot.